I'm Eva Harari reporting for Spartan TV Miami, live from the studio. Today we will take a closer look into the world of sports, colleges, and video games, including two very different reports about the Super Bowl. Although the big game took place a few weeks ago, people are still talking about it. First up is Sabrina finding out what people thought about the Katy Perry Halftime Super Bowl. Hello, this is Sabrina Conifer from Spartan TV, and today I have Olivia Borges, and I'm going to ask her a few questions about the Katy Perry Halftime Show. So Olivia, did you like it? I loved it. It was great. A lot of choreography. If you would rank her show, compared to all the other halftime shows, from a scale from 1 to 10, how would you rank it? Um, probably a 9. Why would you rank it a 9? Because I love the Madonna show much better, but it was close to the Madonna show. But what did you like more about the Madonna show than the Katy Perry show? Well, the Madonna show had more people singing with her, and that made it cool. Thank you for your thoughts on the thing. So, how did you guys like the Katy Perry halftime show? It was cool. It was cool. I actually really liked it. It was awesome. I liked the tiger in the beginning. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. like, how would you rank the Katy Perry halftime show from 1 to 10 compared to the other halftime shows? I say eight. 7. 7. Yeah. 8. eight. Six. Yeah. 7. Six. 9. Because all well, the other halftime sh shows were also really cool. They were like, I think they, I yes. don't think the Katy Perry. When was that? It wasn't that good. It was cool, but it was fine. But I also like the other people who participated. And like this is the Rena Quinn from Spartan TV, and we're out. Wow, I never looked that close into the details of Katy Perry. Well, enough of that. Then Millage is taking a closer look in the last play of the Super Bowl and about the interception. Play clock at five. Pass is intercepted at the goal line by Malcolm Butler. Unreal. Hi, I'm Millage Kasu reporting for Spartan TV, Miami. And I'm here to talk about the Super Bowl and the wrong play that the Seattle Seahawks called. See your thoughts on what the Seahawks should have done on that play that was controversial. I think they should have ran the ball with Marshawn Lynch because he's really fast and no one can tackle him. Like, because he's he's like flash. You can't even see him. He runs so fast. He makes a touchdown and we score and we win the Super Bowl. And what are your thoughts about the Super Bowl and the wrong play? I think that um, Pete Carroll, like he ha he had the right thought, but he he has one of the best running backs in the NFL when on the one yard line. Where he, he could have just ran the ball in and just won the Super Bowl. I am the Lester Super Reporter for Spartan TV Miami. That was the Super Bowl. Catch you guys later. Back to you guys in the studio. Oh, the Seahawks were so close to a Super Bowl victory. Oh, well, they tried their best. Moving on, we have Danny and his video games. What do you like better, Xbox One or PS4? Hi, I'm Danny Dominguez, and today I'm here to interview my fellow classmates about which is better, Xbox One or PS4. I'm Daniel Dominguez reporting for Spartan TV and I'm here with Jaron Katz to see uh, to find out about his opinion which is better, Xbox One or PS4. Jaron, your thoughts? Me, myself, I like the Xbox One because the PS4 has got like letters and the X has weird shapes. The Xbox One has like letters so it's more... Good graphics. It has good graphics, and the Xbox is less confusing. Jaden Feldman, your thoughts on the Xbox One or PS4? I personally like the Xbox One better because it's not as confusing, but the PS4 is a phenomenal game console with great graphics. I'm here with Dylan Eisen to find out her thoughts on the Xbox One or PS4. Which one do you prefer? I have the Xbox One, but I used to have the PS4. Both are both are nice consoles. I prefer the Xbox One. You can use it with your hands, which is pretty pretty cool. 
Okay. Which games on the PS4 do you wish were on the Xbox One? I think um, Dance Dance Revolution would be nice. I also prefer like some better graphics on the Mario Kart for, um, for my Xbox One, but that's just me. Javi, your thoughts? Um, I both think they're great consoles. Um, in my opinion, the Xbox One is better uh, for like bigger TVs because you have more variety of things. Like you can buy more apps. Like you you have Netflix that comes with it. You have Bing, stuff like that. But like the PS4, it's a good console to just like play around with. PS4. Village, your thoughts? Well, I think PS4 is much better than Xbox One. Okay, why is that? Well, because it has better graphics. It's faster, better shape too. Well, it's apparent that Xbox One is better than PS4. And to all the people out there, I'd like to say to you, befriend all the gamers that you know, because we do have lives. This is Danny reporting for Spartan TV, and back to you in the studio. I want to know a lot of new things. I didn't know that so many people loved Xbox One. Okay, last up, we have Aiden telling us about Tufts University. Hi, this is Aiden reporting from Spartan TV. Tufts, a university in Boston, is a great school for very well-educated kids. One of the reasons why I love Tufts is that it has a really cool story behind it. P.T. Barnum, who we know today as the circus showman, went to Tufts as he donated $50,000 to Tufts in 1889. With the money he donated, Tufts built the Barnum Museum of Natural History on Tufts campus. When the superstar of Barnum's circus Jumbo the Elephant died in a tragic accident in 1885. Barnum stuffed him and he was placed in front of the Barnum Museum on Tufts campus. Until 1975 when a fire destroyed the building and unfortunately Jumbo. This historical figure was then honored as the school's mascot. So that's how Tufts became the one and only Jumbos. Next, a new addition to the Jumbo family is my brother a Spartan legend, Jordan Karp. Do you like Tufts so far? Yeah, I love the atmosphere of Tufts and uh, athletic, academic um, atmosphere that it provides for me, along with a small community of friends and people that I like to be with. Why did you pick Tufts out of every other college that you got into? I chose Tufts because I wanted to experience a different culture of life um, in another region and also with a different group of people than I'm accustomed to. So Jordan, how are the classes in Tufts? You know, compared to Country Day and all of its work and, and the workload? Um, the classes are definitely challenging with a large workload. I tend to um, do my work early, so I, I time manage better. Um, it tends to benefit me in the long run when I do it that way. And you just manage your time and you work hard and you persist and you'll be successful. So Jordan, how's campus life? And just waking up to this beautiful day on Boston and just lifestyle? Um, I, I love the campus life around school. It's very social, academic, uh, athletic, and the, everyone's very happy and motivated to be there. And it's all different groups of people and different faces you see every day and meet new people and get to know more people, new, new people every day. So I like Tufts. I think it is a special school. I think it's a very good school. Um, not only because of the school itself, but also because of its surroundings. It's sitting in the heart of Boston, where there are many, many other colleges around it. There's Babson, there is Harvard, there is um, Boston College, uh, many other uh, universities are nearby, so that the students can walk off campus <clears throat> and meet other students who are also um, in the educational and the research and development um, uh, background. All right, perfect. Thank you so much, Dan. You're very welcome. So for joining us. Thank you so much, Jordan. This is the AK reporting to you live, and I'm out. Go Jumbos! I didn't know that Aiden's brother goes to Tufts University, 
And did you know that our very own Miss Davis went there as well? Well, I think that concludes our show. I'm Eva Harari reporting for Spartan TV Miami, and as they say in Japan, sayonara.